Alrighty guys, so I know I haven't been staying up to date with my updates at all, but, um, finally getting around to doing one. Um, after burning a little crisis in this tank last week, uh, last week I had a really, 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 really bad algae bloom in the tank. Uh, literally turned the water completely green to the point of where, like, I couldn't even see my fish when they were right up against the glass. Um, the Petco loved it, but <laughs> everybody else didn't. Um, basically what's going on in the 55 gallon is our, uh, what's going on in the 55 gallon is I actually went out and bought these, uh, they're like little fizz tabs from Tetra, it's called Algae Fix or whatever, um, they work m miracles, like, last week when I tell you I literally could not see my fish, and this week you could see end to end to my tank, you know? and usually you can't even see end to end because usually it's cloudy. Um, anyway, um, the Asker's doing really well. Uh, he looks like he's gotten bigger. i um, not really sure because I haven't been able to get him out of the tank to measure him. So I wouldn't be able to tell if he actually has gotten bigger or not. And like I said with all of last week, I could barely see him, so, you know. Anyway, uh, this paratiglid actually got a little bit bigger. She's actually a little bit bigger than the other one now. Um, as you can see, my two bottle sharks are gone. I gave them away to a friend who had a 55-gallon uh, tank, and she uh, just lost her Oscar. So she wanted your and my two bottle sharks were getting beat up on by the Oscar. So um, basically, they have their own tank now. Um, let's see. The Pleco is getting huge. His tail now reaches all the way out to, like, there. And his head is all the way at the back of the log there. So he's probably longer, if not as long, as my Oscar now, which is probably about... I don't know. There's my hand in comparison. You know, she's pretty big. Um, my catfish is doing really well. He's gotten a little bit of a gut to him now as are my two Jack Dempsey's, which are, for some reason now, they seem to be swimming together a lot. Um, the male has gotten huge. The one that was a baby and was, like, really little, he got fucking enormous. Um, he's actually bigger than the other one is now. And she actually is really, really small. Um, she's actually one of the smaller fish in the tank right now. I also moved over my Pletco from the 30-gallon tank. Uh, he's right here. So there is a about a four or five inch Pleco in there now. Um but anyway. Down here I still have the beta. So I can get a picture of him. There he is. Um I still have my beta or the beta. Uh its name is Toto. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. Um I did not name it. This girl that gave it to me named it that. He actually used to be all blue, and now he's starting to get some purple to his fins, so it's kind of cool looking. Um, the mollies are all still alive, believe it or not. I haven't lost a single one. Um, and there's probably at least a hundred of them in here. Uh, they're also getting really big. You know, like this black molly has really gotten you know, quite large. Um, there's also, like, a billion and one guppies in here, too. As you can see, there's little orange ones, orange males and stuff. Uh, there's only a few males. I've just, I haven't really seen, you know, any other males. Most of the males are all these really bright-colored orange ones, like this one here. Um, like I said, I have the algae eaters in here now, the three algae eaters from the Tangelan tank. So they're all in here. As you can see, he just flew across the bottom there. Um, the Rainbow Shark does not like them one bit. Uh, he actually hates them and chases them around the tank quite often. So, uh, he hasn't killed them yet, so I don't think he will, but I don't know. He just really doesn't like them. And the beta's been eating the baby guppies, so they they haven't been reproducing that much either. Um, I do have a little bit of a green algae issue in this tank. Um, not so bad that it's not manageable, but you can see all the way across the bottom of the tank, there's green algae all across the rocks and stuff like that. 
Um, it's also up here in the glass a little bit, like right here. <laughs> uh, it's all across the back, back there. Um, there's no way to get it off the back because I can't get the little scrubber br thing back there. So I have to go get a scrubber brush and I don't have money right now for that. Um, but otherwise, both the tanks are doing really well. I still have my 10-gallon tank, which is sitting over here. Uh, there's nothing in it. I'm thinking about getting a lizard or something like that. But once again, i got to wait for money to come in for that. So my entire paycheck is gone this week, so... <laughs> Bills, bills, bills. Um, anyway, um, like I said, really not much has gone on different. You know, that's why I haven't been doing you know weekly updates. I've been doing like monthly. Um, but these guys have really gotten you know happier since I took out the bottle of sharks, and I, I think the water clarity's gotten a little better too. Um, and there's massive amounts of bac good bacteria in those filters right now. Um, I was looking at it before when I was on the side of the tank, and these uh, clear 110s are just great. Like you can see right, well you can't really see it on the camera, but all inside here there's a bunch of like really good algae, like or really good bacteria that's clinging to the sides of it, and it's really, really nice, Look, uh, or really, really good for the tank. Um, but... I'm just going to end this video at six minutes or so because, you know, not like I said, not much has changed. The only thing that did suck, that really sucked in the past couple months, is that this uh, this LED th kit shorted out, well, rather, the strip shorted out. Um, so that's kind of crappy, but what am I going to do? Uh, they still work down here on this tank. So, as you can see, it has a little bit more of a blue hue compared to this one that has, like, a white. Um, that's mostly because of the LEDs, but, yeah, like I said, the, uh, LED kit blew on this tank. It was kind of flickering, and I did see it, and then, uh, next thing I knew, it blew out, so, whatever, it is what it is. Um, I'll just end this video on a close-up of my Jack Dempsey's. Or rather, the Oscar, because they're hiding. <laughs>